Hi, this is Luke from MGN. Today we're gonna look at five games that you can get for great prices. They're really good value, you get a lot of hours out of them, and they're really good gaming experiences, but they've been out a while, so they're really cheap. We're gonna look at patient gaming, five games, five great prices. You wanna find out what they are? Stick with me, we're gonna go through them right now. Okay, like I mentioned in the intro, being a patient gamer is all about having great gaming experiences without breaking the bank. Not only are you getting the best games at amazing prices, but by the time you play them, all the issues and bugs have been ironed out, and by then, there's plenty of guides and how-to videos to help out. Today, we're going to look at some of the best games that have aged well, are absolutely worth a shot, and that are priced far below their actual value. This is MGN's Incredible Games at Incredible Prices, Part 1. At number 5, we have Bioshock Infinite, that is currently $39.95 AUD. Look, Infinite is a massive experience. The player takes control of Book of the Wit in the floating city of Columbia. It's a first person shooter, um, and as with other entries in the series, the player will gain and employ various supernatural abilities to be used in tandem with their firepower. Whilst they explore a very alive, very vast, very soulful city, yeah. It's a massive hit when the game released in 2013, won numerous Game of the Year awards, and now that experience is yours to be had for the low price of $39.95 AMD. It's something that you're going to get a lot of playtime out of, um, and if you've already played it on another platform, well, second or third playthrough is always a great option with Bioshock games. You'll pick up things you did the first time, fall in love with the sky-high flying adventure all over again. Alrighty, moving on to number 4, that is Dishonored, the first one. It is currently $14.95 AUD, and Dishonored is amazing. It lets the player enjoy the game in whatever capacity takes their fancy. You want to go in guns blazing, killing enemies, using magic powers to de destroy things and explode people? You can. That's cool. You get an ending tailored to that playstyle. You want to sneak around, choke foes out, rely on stealth to elude them, like a phantom? You can do that too. It's pretty cool. Much like Bioshock Infinite, there's a lot of replay value here. You can explore different avenues that you didn't take in your first attempt, you can make different story choices, different skill point choices, just about anything you do in the game has multiple options, and you get a lot of value for that. For this price, if you haven't tried it, it's worth it and more. Uh, that was number four, Dishonored. Number three is Final Fantasy XIII. That's coming in at $18.50 AUD. FF13 throws the player into the control of one of the series some lover, some hater, I'm just going to call her popular, characters in Lightning. In traditional Final Fantasy fashion, you collect allies as you level them up, you grow stronger, collect skills. 13 is the first entry in the series to introduce the paradigm system, where players assign like roles to their characters, and they can level that role up, use the paradigm, and that sort of dictates how your character will act during battles. It's fresh, it's something new, it's rewarding, and it's a twist on the Gambit series from um, Final Fantasy XII. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of fun to be had here for fantasy RPG lovers. If you're one of the very few people who loves Final Fantasy, hasn't given 13 a shot for whatever reason, recommend it. I think Lightning's extremely likable as a protagonist, and she's generally just a bit of a badass. For this price, I reckon her story's worth a listen. Coming in at number two is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor which you can get on Steam right now for $14.50 AUD. Shadow of Mordor is another game that is just an enormous epic experience. It's got parkour and world running, it's very similar to maybe Assassin's Creed, lovers of those games might enjoy Shadow of Mordor a lot. There's fantastic storytelling with a lot of happening, a lot of branching avenues to keep the player interested in what's happening in the world around them, keep the player like wanting to progress. There's mini-game challenges, there's collectibles, fantastic combat, uh, a bit like the Arkham series Batman games. Um, there's great and rewarding stealth mechanics. It's just a very well-rounded game for a really good price right now. Plus, it includes the revolutionary nemesis system, where the enemies you encounter are shaped by your actions. You can win over enemies to your side of the war, they can help you in combat, and will change and evolve with their successes or failures. Let's say you lose a fight to a relatively unknown enemy. He'll be promoted, gain skills. It's very alive, the game. Then you can try to win him over your side, or take revenge and kill him. The Nemesis system creates a fluid narrative based around yourself and the enemies, depending on your and their actions. It makes the game feel really alive, 
and the game will just sort of develop stories all on its own. Really cool. You can absolutely get lost in the Nemesis system for hours, without even touching the many the brilliant aspects of Shadow of Mordor. And for that, that's number two at our spot. $14.50 AUD. Number one. Dragon Age Origins. $29.95 AUD on Steam right now. Dragon Age Origins might be just the quintessential Western RPG. Its quality is akin to Skyrim, and there are hundreds and hundreds of hours of storytelling, party building, head chopping, and really cool questing to be had. The player can choose between a number of races to begin their story, and then a subsequent origin story based on their race and their class will unfold. There are choices to be made throughout the game that will shape the rest of the game, and the sheer amount of content that Bioware has included in one game is staggering, it's huge. Between the different choices the player can make, the races, the classes, the party options, the different specializations, the classes open, there are many, many playthroughs to be found in Dragon Age Origins. The beauty is that each one of those playthroughs will feel different than the last. You also build your overall experience. Each playthrough will unlock more specializations for your next playthrough. That's without mentioning the lore. The quests and the storytelling in Dragon Age Origins are some of the best story elements in its class. There is lore to be found everywhere, between side characters and NPCs, the books, the side quests, there's just about as much storytelling as you can handle if you want to go looking for it. But if you're the type who likes to just enjoy the main quest and stick with the main plotline, you can absolutely do that too. But the point is, the depth is there if you want it, and it's so deep, so well thought out, so lovingly crafted, unbelievable. Look, if you're looking to lose hundreds of hours in a pure fantasy classic that will stay with you forever, <laughs> force its way into your list of favorite all-time games, grab Dragon, Dragon Age Origins for the low price of $29.95 and enjoy our number one pick. <laughs> 